Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with Sea of Ninja Hacks, and in this video, we're going to uh, do an update, really, for the Google Form that we did earlier when we were creating an application for our MLM funnel. And especially what we're going to do in this one is show how you can auto redirect at the end of the form. It's not a built in function that comes along with Google Form. So I wrote a little bit of a code and now we're able to redirect at the end. So when somebody completes the form, when they click on the very last item, it will redirect them to whatever page you want to send them to. And then that way you don't have to pay for Wufu or any other form builder. You can just use Google and it's absolutely free. So the first thing we want to do is we want to take a look at the form itself. And uh, this is one I had before. All I did is I just beefed it up a little bit so that we had three pages worth. And I made sure that right here it said, after the first section, go to section two, and then go to section three. And I called this second page and third page, just so we know what they are as we're going through them. And then at the very end, um, I come over here, click on settings, go to presentation. And then I put in a confirmation message. And all I just said was, thank you for completing our survey. If you are not redirected, please go to, and here's a link they can go to, just in case something happens, the code doesn't fire, they, you still um, are telling them where you want them to go to at the end. So what we need to do now is we need to grab the code out of here and we do that by clicking on send and then coming to these two little arrows that tells us this is our embed code, our, our iframe, and we're just going to click on copy. Now it's giving me a height and a width. Right now I'm not going to worry about any of that. It's not going to show up right on the screen, but that's not what this demonstration is about. If you want to see how to set it up so it looks right on your screen, uh, go back to the first video. So we copied this out. And all we have to do is come back over into our application and wherever you wanted that form to show up, we're going to put in a custom JavaScript HTML box and we're just going to open this up and open the code editor and we are going to just pop in that code and now we're going to save it and let's just see how this works straight out of the box. And the form will pop up. Of course, it's not sitting where I want it to exactly. So now let's just put in an email address and we will type in a name. And we'll click on any one of these buttons and click on next. And then on option two, page two here, we will also click it and go to next. Now here it says, thank you. This is the end of the survey. Now when we, we can click on our option one and then we're going to click on submit what is going to happen is absolutely nothing. It's going to submit the form and it is nice here that we do have this link that we could click on this link and go to that page. But now let's have it instead of stopping right here, let's make it so that we can just go immediately to a page of our choosing. So what we're going to do is come back into our custom JavaScript box. We're going to open it in the editor and we're going to put in a little bit of code. Let me just grab it from over here. First off, we'll grab the script, we will drop that at the bottom, and then we will grab this little bit of code, and we will put that right here, control V. Okay, what we did here is we are setting an ID for this iframe, we are setting an ID equal to redirect. Then what we say down here is redirect load function. So every time this ID is reloaded, which it will reload every time or it will load every time there is a new page. When it does that, once we have three pages loaded, the next time it wants to load, we want to redirect it to this page right here. So this number right here is equal to the number of pages in your survey. So in my survey, I had three pages, so I have three pages right here. So now all we have to do is save this, click on preview once again, and run back through the survey. Now this time when we hit submit, we're going to see that end screen just for a few seconds and then we should be redirected to 
that page, which actually now I think about it, isn't actually a page, but we'll see what happens here. So it shows it to us for a minute, and my computer's running a little slow because I'm recording, and so here we go. It will load us back to the actual default page for CF Ninja Hacks, which I'm working on redoing right now. So that is it. All you have to do is put in a little bit of JavaScript code, put in an ID so it knows uh, which code to look at. Let's get this opened up here. So that's it, just this script code right here. Make sure you replace this number with the total number of pages you have in your survey, and make sure you put in ID equals redirect within quotes within the iframe itself. So if you've got any questions, feel free to reach out. Have a great day.